something that might seem crazy day to day if you were at home doesn't seem that odd when you're out here. It's not until you try to explain something to your wife that you start to realize, like, this is a pretty yeah. bizarre life that we live. <laughs> a lot of times, like, you'll go home, like, oh, yeah, by the way, on this last trip, this and this and this happened. And then the girl comes out of nowhere because you're talking to your friend, and it's, how come you never told me that? Right. <laughs> oh, it didn't seem important at the time. Five hundred moochers known as family and friends. Um, I'm not gonna make those jokes anymore because I've said that kind of stuff, and I still have like my aunts and the moochers are calling again, you know. So uh, it's great. At least they know it. I know it's great. <laughs> they come and they they don't understand that you actually have a job to do that night, and they're like, uh, "Where are you going? We gotta go do a show now." You know what I mean? Like we're actually here to work. I love it. He seems like he has a problem with his family coming. I just like to say to my family, I love that you all come, and it's great. Right. So there's people that come that you love coming. I love having my family there, but. But then there's literally this list of people that I will get a call every year at that time. And you know what it's about. And the thing is, is if they just like first sentence say, can I get tickets this year? Then I'd be less insulted, but they act like they care. No, 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 no. Let's cut to the mustard here. What do you want? You want tickets, right? You know, it's, you know. Once again, I just love everyone that he calls loves me. everyone. We got Gandhi <laughs> over here, yeah. You may bury me with an enemy We also did the St. Patrick's Day parade in Boston one year on a big flatbed truck. And got we, kicked off the parade. Yeah, any band can finish a parade. It takes a real band to get kicked off. The cops got a little nervous. When it, when it comes down Broadway, the street's a wide street, and there was like a thousand kids following the float. And then when it turned, it gets narrow, and you get all these families out there, their grandmas out there in the chair, and all of a sudden we come turning with a thousand people, and people are like, what the? And uh, going towards Southie Heights, and it takes a left at Gate of Heaven Church, and the cops just told us to go straight. All the kids kept following us, and we went back onto Broadway, which is now open for traffic. The truck driver's trying to lose the kids by driving faster. We're still playing. There's cops on horses beside us going, stop playing. Yeah, the state, I just it's remember cool. when we, once we got thrown out of the general parade, we were sitting there for a second and going, what just happened? Ken's like going, right, who cares? One, two, three, four. <laughs> and this giant steady walks up and goes, one more song and I'm taking all of you. And we we're just like, Duh. it was great because on the way back to wherever we were going, the PA was still on. So Ken's like driving by these random people here, Kenny going, we got kicked off the parade. It was <laughs> hilarious. If it was a Boston cop, we could have finagled that way into playing, but the Stadies don't mess around. <laughs> Now is the point in the show where people stop going, what the Christ is on his forehead? It's Ash Wednesday, so I don't think my grandmother watches Cinemax, but if she did, she'd be very happy. <laughs>